This is a routine cataract surgery performed with the Ingenuity Visualization System. This is a digital 3D viewing system developed by Alcon. So in this surgery, we are not looking through the microscope binoculars. Instead, we are doing what has been called a heads-up surgery, wearing a 3D glasses and looking straight to a high-definition widescreen display. The surgery is done under topical anesthesia. As the red reflex is quite good in this digitally enhanced image, there's no need to use tripen blue dye to stain the anterior capsule. Therefore, we can just skip this step and go straight to the capsular axis. One advantage of this cutting-edge viewing system is that it provides a great depth of field and depth of focus for the surgeon. This way, all the structures of the interior chamber can be seen in details. So here a nice and round 5mm capsular axis is achieved. Note that these utrata forceps have some marks on its jaws, which are really helpful to guide us in the creation of an adequately sized axis. Since it's a soft cataract, we like to do some hydrodissection and also some hydrodelineation. As the BSS is injected with the blend cannula, we are able to see some nice fluid waves going around the nucleus. Now comes the phaco probe. My favorite technique for nucleus division is the phaco chop. However, since it's quite a soft cataract, we consider that a stop and chop technique would be more appropriate for this case. So here we go, making a deep trench in the middle of the nucleus until we've gone about 80% in depth. The two instruments are then positioned deep inside the groove to split this cataract in two halves. After that, the nucleus is rotated with the chopper and some fragments of the soft lens start to come forward in a somewhat clumsy way. This is definitely not my most efficient case in terms of nucleus division. So we just accept that and use the phaco probe to emulsify these pieces. We are left with a thick and gummy epinucleus shell that is mobilized with the chopper. So now just using vacuum modulation, we go around carefully aspirating the peripheral epinucleus. One must be really cautious here, in order not to inadvertently grab and damage the posterior capsule. Some more viscoelastic can also be employed to mobilize the fragments and protect the capsule. So nice and easy, this epinucleus shell is aspirated and now comes the IA probe to complete the removal of this lens material. I prefer to address the subincisional cortex first, and then go 360 degrees around the capsular bag and thoroughly clean it off any cortex. There was one last piece hidden subincisionally, but it's readily taken care of. The capsular bag is now filled with some cohesive OVD while the IOL is loaded and prepared for implantation. A single piece monofocal lens is carefully delivered in the capsular bag. As the lens unfolds, the chopper is used to adequately position two of its four haptics in the right place. Now wrapping up this case, this was my first time using the Ingenuity 3D visualization technology. This is an innovative heads-up viewing system that provides a high-resolution digital image and an increased depth of field and depth of focus. Moreover, since the surgery is instantly broadcasted to a widescreen monitor, it serves an important educational purpose in terms of teaching surgeons and training. The downside of this viewing system is that it is still not widely available due to its high cost. Nevertheless, it's definitely a welcome technology and we hope it will develop even more and become more accessible over the coming years.